This is the uh, Cash Kai wing mirror, uh, which I bought on eBay again. It's a uh, pre prime so it's actually grey on the outside. It says you're playing, applying a primer coat on it. On the inside, you can see it's just it's uh, un un uh, prepared state. So we've got the grey primer on it, um, which is nice and keyed. And I've purchased uh, this spray paint you can see the code is Z11 you get that from the door frame of the the cash guy uh, and that will tell you the code so I ordered this in line again through eBay um, and uh, they pre-mix it now you can see the lights gone off again but I don't know, it's gonna work with it um, you're shaking this for two minutes and we're just gonna apply the spray what I do is I start away and I apply and I go beyond it I'm just going to try and get that light back on. Okay, I'm going, I'm starting beyond. And just applying light coats and running it beyond. Beyond the paint. So... So I'm not going too thick because we can put further further coats on it. When I finished, I'm turning upside down and just running until there's no no more paint coming off it. Um, I apologise for the apologise for the fact that I'm actually having to lose the the picture every so often. Uh, it's not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. What I'm doing is just putting the first coat on. Uh, it says 10 to 25 minutes drying. It's a little bit colder outside. So I'm not going to bother applying the next coat till uh, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. Once it gets a little bit uh, uh, less tacky, I'll move it into the house just for a wee bit warmer. You can use a an air gun uh, just to, to apply a nice waft of air just to, just to uh, remove some of the, the solvent, etc. and dry it a little bit quicker. But... As I said, I'm not in a rush for this. I'm going to take my time, uh, apply several coats, uh, make sure I've got a decent level on it, and then what I'll do is apply the uh, the lacquer on top. Um, again, several coats, and then I will polish it down using um, uh, a compound just to bring up the the shine and try and match it into the the other unit. So the three three coats of a of base coat has been applied Z11 in this particular case for the cash guy uh, what I've done is play place them very lightly uh, with 25 minutes apart curing uh, because it's winter I've taken it indoors just to um, let it, uh, let the aerosol just dry out uh, the next thing I need to do is to apply a clear lacquer onto it I'm going to apply three coats on it um, and at that point it should be finished or if you want to get a really shiny finish then what you do is you just use camp compound thereafter just to smooth it down um, so the lacquer is now going to go on shaking the can for two minutes um, and I will spray that on and then come back so that's the the wing mirror um, black to, uh, painted with the black Z11 paint uh, but also uh, what I've done is use the uh, lacquer to coat it. There's about three coats of lacquer on it. I'm going to use this a half of the rubbing compound uh, just with the wet uh, uh, cloth and just remove some of the orange peel, which I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can clearly see it's got a wee bit of orange peel on, but that's going to be my next job. The light is picking up some of the, the sparkles on there. Uh, but they're deliberately, it's not uh, white dust or anything like that, it's deliberately meant to be there. So that's my next component here, which is to polish this down and to remove some of those orange peel effects. So I've used the compound and a, um, just before using the compound, I should have mentioned it is very, very, very fine uh, abrasive paper just to remove any little bit of raised uh, areas um, before using the compound. So we just smoothed it off with wet and dry very, very lightly compound on there uh, which you got from Halfords and then uh, that left some very very fine scratches in it so I used uh, this uh, product from Maxwell which is 5000 power cut um, 
which is a diminishing, I believe it's the diminishing uh, uh, grit uh, technique. So basically, it starts off as quite coarse and then it just basically cuts it right down to fine dust, uh, thereby removing all the um, uh, finer scratches. This is going to set for about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, and then I'll polish it off, remove it, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, another product called uh, Perfect Pearl, which is a, a PT, it's like a sealant, a PTF sealant. A sealant it takes three to four hours to actually set. And then finally, again, it's by Maxlin. Uh, and then finally, another uh, coat of wax uh, called Dark Magic, used for darker. Again, another Maxlin product, used for darker um, uh, colors. And it just brings out the glaze. These are, Maxlin's not a product uh, which um, I, I promote. It's just a, a nice product. I uh, bought it a while back. The uh, I love to say it. I do enjoy these two. Uh, the Maxlin uh, Dark Magic. You know, I'm not 100% convinced. It's great. It gives you a nice shine, etc. Uh, but there's better uh, waxes out there. Cheers. Bye. And that's the finished product. All polished up. Um, and you can see the lovely shine in it that's got on it. There's, uh, as I said, there's still some uh, orange peeling on it. Very, very slight, but hey, it's there. Uh, I'm not a professional um, uh, mechanic or a uh, spray painter, etc. All I'm down trying to do is uh, save some money on, um, basically, on the maintenance of the car. So this uh, whole project has came to 15 plus 13, say about 28 plus the spray paints, etc. So about £38 pounds altogether, uh, which is a substantial saving from um, the, the dealers um, and taken down there and also the time expanded uh, trying to fit it. The, the final thing now is to fit the fit the item. Uh, just to bring up some points that I noticed, uh, when you're doing the, the uh, spray painting of the lacquer, remember to go right all these corners. There's an area somewhere down here where I've not put enough lacquer um, and that is um, a slight issue because the base coat is very just I can just touch the base coat in one spot now that's not clever so uh, it's not going to be too big an issue but it's definitely a learning club and uh, one of the the best things about uh, doing little projects like that is you learn from your mistakes uh, but as I said, not a professional uh, by any means. Uh, and this is the first uh, wing mirror I've spray painted. Uh, but I'm learning all the time. Um, if you're looking for uh, professional results, it's always a good idea to have a look around. Uh, but what I'm trying to show is that you can go out there and just give it a try. You won't get it perfect. Uh, but the car will last you X amount of years. And you don't want to be throwing a lot of money at small projects like this, which you can do yourself. Uh, next thing is just to fit it in situ. Again, I'm having to uh, videotape this myself so you can see the two wing mirrors next uh, side by side. It's a pretty good match to the color. Um, I didn't use uh, uh, Nissan original paint. You can see there um, that a this is just going to clip on there. It's a little bit wet just now, so what I'll do is, uh, I'm considering drying that, I'm just too lazy to go and dry that. I'm hoping that they, there won't be a perfect seal, so all that uh, moisture should evaporate out of the out of the system. Okay, uh, so let's stick it together. You know what, I'm going to dry it. I'll see you in a second. I'm going to dry this just in case. Okay, we're back on. I positioned it and hopefully if this is a good fit I'm just making sure before I clip it on I'm gonna clip it on like that it clips on you clip it on like that and just check to make sure it's nicely sealed and I'm just trying to make sure that it's nope it's not clipped on properly so again you can see it's not 100% clipped on I've got the underneath I'm gonna need two hands for this again we get a focus on that. Let me try and get a focus on that. And there we go. That's the wing mirror attached back on. 
things to be careful with is not to drop it um, again when I was putting this on bit of a rush dropped it a little bit uh, scratched it uh, somewhere there okay not a big issue but the paint is very soft but I thought I'd just point this up because as I said uh, each area you make is a learning curve uh, if you're finding a gap at the bottom um, of the uh, just over here if you find there's a gap here it's because it's not being fitted correctly you've got to fit it in correctly to make sure that the uh, everything is as it should be um, one of the thoughts that I always have when I'm, I'm fitting a, an aftermarket part a particular one so cheap as this is um, is the fit going to be perfect uh, is it meant to have a little gap there because it's an aftermarket part um, I've got to go with the, the 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 thought that the guys are making thousands and thousands of these and therefore they're not going to put um, a rubbish mould in they're going to get it right uh, generally speaking they'll get it right um, so look at your own technique for finishing off uh, brilliant well I hope you've enjoyed that as I said um, this is uh, just one of many things that I'll be putting on not a professional mechanic so do your own uh, research just to make sure it's all going to work out pan out nicely the way you expect it uh, look at other videos uh, if you like what you've seen you like me to do some more videos please uh, click subscribe um, I need to get a lot of subscribers on here uh, in order to uh, make it all worthwhile take care bye